certain members of the GOP are on a mission to destroy their once storied political careers. John Kasich did a good job keeping Ohio a red state but has squandered this on an ego-driven campaign to trash Trump in hopes that he can run for president. Bill Weld actually announced he will primary Trump and now we have another one signaling he will do the same. This guy, Larry Hogan, had a great reputation for being a Republican governor in a deep blue state. But he, like Kasich, has not learned the lessons from the past. The left will never accept these turncoats and the GOP base will hate them for their cowardice. So they can't win. But consider for a minute how history will judge them after Trump solves the China trade problem, anything he gets is better than what we have now so by definition he has already won that, and gets lucky with Mideast peace, most cynical establishment figures think, Trump and Kushner's plan is a dream, but they forget that because Trump has been so good to Israel he has massive leverage over them to make concessions they normally wouldn't make, what will history say of these cowards? From the Baltimore Sun Maryland Gov. Larry Hogan criticized President Donald Trump on Tuesday over the findings of the Mueller investigation, calling its report disturbing and saying Trump narrowly avoided being charged with obstruction. Speaking to an influential crowd of about 100 business and political leaders in New Hampshire, Hogan said a growing number of Republicans are urging him to launch a primary challenge to the president and he plans to visit 16 states while gauging interest in his potential candidacy. People have asked me to give this some serious thought, and I think I owe it to them to give it serious consideration," Hogan said of challenging Trump. Hogan's comments came during and after the Politics and Eggs speaker series, considered a must-stop for presidential hopefuls. At St. Anselm College's New Hampshire Institute of Politics, the state is home to the first U.S. presidential primary, scheduled in 2020 for February. 11. After his speech, Hogan told a swarm of reporters that he was disturbed by the revelations about Trump's conduct disclosed in the report on the investigation into whether his campaign officials colluded with the Russian government to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. There was some very disturbing stuff found in the report, Hogan said. Just because aides did not follow his orders, that's the only reason why we don't have obstruction of justice. Mueller's report detailed at least 10 instances in which Trump tried to interfere with the federal investigation, including when the president ordered White House counsel Don McGahn to have Mueller removed. The report said McGahn refused. Did he obstruct justice? He tried to, Hogan said in an interview after the event. Of course he did. He attempted to over and over again. Apart from U.S., Senators Mitt Romney of Utah and Susan Collins of Maine, few Republicans have spoken out against Trump since the report's release last week. Asked why that was the case. Hogan suggested many are afraid of the president. There's no profiles and courage here. Hogan said. They're afraid of being primaried. They're afraid of being tweeted about. Very few of us are willing to say what we really think. Maryland's governor said he expected backlash from Trump loyalists, but said he was prepared for that. I really am disgusted that people aren't speaking out, Hogan said. Yes, I'm going to get criticized. Yes, people aren't going to like it. I think it's important to say what you think, I think it's important for somebody to say the truth. Let's block ads. Why?